Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play The Wind Waker. And... What? <laughs> this lady just walked into my shop, what's going on? And now we're having a staring contest, I guess. I win. Okay. Uh, I think I actually want to do a little bit more shopping, I kind of showed this off at the end of the last episode. And I want to do a little bit more of it, because I don't think I stocked up on enough stuff. So let's see what else we got in here. There was one other thing that I didn't really go into when I bought stuff here, is this pear-looking thing here. Uh, this is a Hyoi pear, one for ten rupees. Yeah, I'll buy it. Sweet. It looks like a gourd. I used to carve gourds, like, when I was younger, for art projects and stuff. That was fun. They made the coolest sounds, too, when you shake them. Oh, they're so much fun. Yeah, but these pear things, they'll actually, uh, let you control seagulls. Which, it's not too useful in terms of, like, gameplay, but it is kind of fun sometimes. I'll just buy, like, a few more of these to fill up my bait pouch. Eight points saved up. Wow, we're racking up those points, definitely. That's like, I went to an arcade yesterday, and, like, I spent so much time there, and I racked up, like, 400-something tickets. You don't need any more than you already have? Okay. Well, actually, I do. I just can't carry anymore. That should do for shopping, though. Yeah, so that seagull controlling thing, you don't really use that too much throughout the game. Maybe twice if you're doing a 100% run. But, it's not really too essential. Anyways, I want to go talk to this guy, because he beckoned us to come up here. And since he has such a big cane, I think he must be pretty important. You big cane, you compensating for something? <laughs> God, that's such an old joke. So soon, my my my. If you're already old enough to be wearing those clothes, then it's going to be very important for you to gather as much wisdom and courage as you can from now on. If you're going to make your way in the world, that is Argon. Ho ho ho. Now I've been studying a wealth of topics since I since long before you were born. I'm what you call a brain of all trades. Oh, I love how he stroked his mustache as he said that. That was awesome. You're a smarter little fellow yourself, aren't you? I've been thinking it's time for me to pass down some of my wisdom, and maybe you're the one who should pass it down too. Yes, quite. Everything that you see tacked to the walls here is something that I've researched thoroughly, and before you ask, yes, I do know my brain is the size of a watermelon. Look at that, seriously. How big can you possibly make your head? Did you inject your cranium with steroids? What? <laughs> All the pots just fell. Oh my god! Such a racket! Can't you keep- Dude, my ear is itchy. Oh! Oh! Oh, I hate that. You dratted hooligan? Ugh. Ah. Uh, honestly, the hooligan that I'm referring to is my younger, much less intelligent brother who lives just downstairs. He hates studying. All day, every day. The flout just exercises and practices with his weapons. Does he exercise his brain? No! The brain's a muscle too, I th I think. Anyway, the only thing he does study is the art of fighting. Right now, for instance, he's been studying fencing and whatnot. And, yeah. So he seems like he'll be a pretty important guy. I mean, Zelda, fencing, it all comes together. But we don't have to worry about that right now. You can actually go talk to him right now and I'll show you some stuff, some skills. But you don't really need to do that right now because, um, we don't really have a use for it yet. Ooh. Alright, let's go get some more of these rupees that we missed last time. Yep. Oh boy. There's 15, but... Oh, you know... Yeah. Oh, I was trying to make some kind of, like, deep metaphor there. It didn't really work out well. Alright, man, this episode's going so slow. Like, I haven't even done anything. It's already four minutes in. So let's, uh, just go ahead and talk to our sister back up at the treehouse, or the watchtower, whatever it is. Okay, my ear is still itchy. I, uh, I need to scratch that. I'm sorry. Eh. Eh. Ah. Oh. I'll probably have cut that out or something, because I know I had to, like, move my headset and everything, and that's just not pleasant for anyone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. Anyways, let's climb up the ladder here. The long, long ladder. Oh man, look at that sky, it's such a nice blue, such a nice blue outside, it's really nice outside, like in real life today too. Oh, we scared the seagulls away. Ah, hoy big brother, did grandma make that outfit for you? But, wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I guess they're pretty neat though. Yeah, I feel like a fairy. Can you close your eyes and hold out your hand just for a second? Oh, you're not gonna spit in it, are you? 
I'm gonna give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! Oh my god, that's so sweet. Oh, it's a telescope. Look how proud she is back there. That's adorable. <laughs> Treasure dearly. I will. Oh, I won't even use my spit to clean the lens or anything. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift, just because my big brother. Aren't you lucky? Hee <laughs> Ooh, why don't you try it out right now? Well, yeah. Hell yeah, man. Let's do it. Let's see what we can see. Ah, uh, the zoom in? Okay. Do man, the post box down here. We've got the postman here, with a big beak on his face. What? He's freaking out. He does look kind of weird. Wait, up in the sky? What? Oh, is it the moon? Oh my god. Oh, crap. I thought I dealt with you in Majora's Mask. Oh, he's got a girl this time instead of my sword. Did I ever even show that in Majora's Mask? I don't know. Oh, what? Pirates? Pirates at a quaint little island like this? That's ridiculous. Man. Take your antics somewhere else, please. Why don't you take this to Pinnacle Rock or something? Oh my god, so many Majora's Mask reference. Ugh, I'm drowning in it. Oh no. Oh god. What? Oh! Right across the jaw! <laughs> I said across her nose, not up it. Into the forest she fell. Gee, I wonder who's gonna have to save her. Argon, this is so terrible. That girl fell into the forest. She needs help and food. But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something that you can use or defend yourself with. Yeah, so we need to go find something to defend ourselves with. In other words, it's dangerous to go alone. But what can we possibly use to defend ourselves? <laughs> I was actually really stupid in, when I first played the game. So when I heard the word defense, or saw the word defense, I immediately thought shield. So I thought I had to go get a shield at this point and I had no idea what to do. But then I eventually figured it out, of course. If you've been paying attention, we, there's actually a master of swordplay on the island. And that's Orca, this guy's younger brother down here. So let's head in this door. God, I love the doors in this game. They're just so, like, rugged looking. That's not the word. There's some word that, that begins with R. Rustic, I think it is. Oh, what is the matter, Argon? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? I don't know if that voice works for him, but whatever. Whatever it is, from the look on your face, I suspect it is no laughing matter. What say you, Argon? Have you come for some serious instruction in the way of the spear? Hess, yeah! Uh, what? Hess, yeah. Hess, yeah, what? I was gonna say hell yeah, but then I saw the words yes sir, and all the S's in there, well there's only two, but that's enough. Oh my god. Very good. Your first lesson shall be the horizontals. Hess, yeah. Pff. Face me and press B. Do not fear for my safety. I'm ready for you. Yeah, you got that big spear. You sure look ready. Alright, yeah, so just press B. Don't do anything else. Don't even target him. Just blindly swing your sword, and you'll do combos and everything, just like that. Very good. Next is the vertical slice. Yep. Here we go. I think that's so cool how, like, you change, like, it changes the type of slice depending on whether you're targeting or not. I always thought that was the weirdest thing. The thrust. This one can be kind of tricky, I'm not gonna lie. He says to tilt your control stick forward. Really, you just want to tilt it towards your target more than anything. See? Crap. <laughs> that's the scariest noise ever. There we go. Next is the spin attack. Yep. Okay, he has the whole bit B down briefly. You can also just, like, spin the control stick like that. But if you do hold B briefly, be sure not to do this. And, like, because, like, when you press B to hold it, you'll swing once, so you be sure that you're far enough back from him before you do that. And next is harder. This is the parry attack. Oh, this one's my favorite. It's my favorite of all time. Here we go. Here we go. Spiky A! Oh, sweet. Yeah, and a lot of enemies, you actually find that this is the way that you're gonna defeat them, like this is their weak point or stuff. Or stuff. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but it's actually like really a, a useful attack, that parry attack is pretty cool. And of course we got the jump attack here. Classic. That was a fine display, ho ho ho. He was laughing there, like, what was that? And yet, I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold. An eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded on the fields of battle. What else am I going to do with it? Pick my nose? But I have faith in you. Somehow I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Argon. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. Sweet. 
And we got the hero sword. You accepted it. We didn't get it. We accepted it. Hess, yeah. I'm never getting over that. Hess, yeah. Alright, since the olden days, the sword has been used to spend off evil. Its blade is infused with the desire to become strong and righteous. I prefer being infused with gold dust, but I don't know. Dude, can I reference Majora's Mask more? Seriously, I better stop with that. That game is long gone now. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> hello, Link. You're looking very punctual today. Uh, what time are we up to? Ten minutes? Ten and a half minutes? That's crazy. Oh, and we got so much stuff going on ahead here. It's gonna be a really awkward cutoff for the end of this video, but whatever. Let's just see what we can do about that girl that fell in the forest up there. Oh. Maybe we can hold a ransom for those pirates or whatever. Okay, so... Yeah, you can actually head up here earlier to this, like, mountain pass area. But you'll find that you'll be stopped very quickly, because there's trees in your way. So many trees, I guess, in the way. Oh my god, that's so good. I've got, like, I've got a candle burning, actually. What is this? No entry! The forest paths are closed until the suspension bridge repairs are complete. Oh my, I've got a candle burning actually like I said, and it smells like a pine forest in here. It is so good. It's actually helping a little bit with my stuffy doze. Yeah, because I still have that stuffy nose, you know. Not over that sickness quite yet. I better because like, t school. I don't want to miss the first day of school here. Right, mind the gap, yeah. That's why they closed the suspension bridge for that tiny little gap. Who would ever possibly fall in that? This bridge is actually a lot more rickety than I remember. What? That's ridiculous. Okay. Oh, uh, so we got this forest here. I think this is called the Forest of Fairies or something. I don't know. What? She's just... <laughs> God, how lucky can you be to get caught on a branch like that? Okay. But you know when she's hanging from a branch like that, nothing good can possibly happen. I think there's a rupee in this log if you crawl in something. Yeah, 20 rupee. How do you like that? 20 bills. Oh, God. What was that? <laughs> I wouldn't even have known if you were cutting to the same forest that I'm in right now. That could have been any forest. Because you'd cut at such a random time. I had no idea what was going on. All right, well, that was our first monster. I think that was a bokoblin, a bokoblin, however you pronounce that. Get that rupee. Just, just so I have an even amount of rupees. Because I'm a perfectionist like that. I can't climb this all. Alright, so you have to climb up this log. You can't crawl up it this time. And let's see. Oh, no. They're calling in the infantry here. Crap. What are you buttheads doing? Who are you calling a butthead, butthead? Man, I, f I remember the first time I played this. I actually, like, legitimately, I died to those guys. It was ridiculous. I didn't know what to do. I was just like... <laughs> for some reason, I didn't think to use my sword or something. Crap. Oh, no, don't struggle. That's only gonna make it worse. It's like quicksand. Oh, no. <sighs> yeah, cover your eyes, Link. Could be a mess. Ouch! Hmm. Look at my swirly belt buckle. Wow, what's with that getup? Well, whatever. So, where am I? Dude, I'm not giving her that ditzy voice. <laughs> That's not the kind of girl she is. Because I'm a material girl. Oh, that's right. That bird came in. And? Miss! Miss Tetra! <laughs> Look at this guy. Dude, I don't know. Oh, oh, thank, thank goodness you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on this summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me on top of a mountain? Well, that wasn't nice of it. You're telling me. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Time to repay our debt to that bird in full. And win. But, miss, what about this boy? Forget his ass. Come on. Dude. I just came all the way up here to try and save you, and you're just going to blow me off like that? Oh, crap. Can I stop here? 